the number one thing I've learned from working with coaches. Now, that's pretty broad, isn't it? But have you ever thought about hiring a coach or a mentor or gotten a mastermind and it's just kind of held you back because you're nervous? You don't have the money to spend for it? I get it. I've been there, done that. My journey, I started out in the mastermind. And I might have told this before. I mean, I'm coming from a, a teaching world. I'm a math teacher of public school systems. Scared to death of what my retirement was going to be. And I started looking online for a way to make extra money. Didn't want to go to a part-time job. Didn't. Thought, what the heck? I'm not going to go away from my family. I had two kids at home at the time to make $5 an hour, $8 an hour. It just wasn't there. So my first look was in network marketing. And you know, I did pretty well. And this isn't going to be all about me. I did pretty well. Except it was in the financial industry. I was gone from my house all the time. All the time. Nights, weekends. And my wife finally had to talk to me and say, hey, do you know what? We have two kids. Do you know why we had kids? And you know what? I was so focused on building this because I was trying to build a legacy, but it wasn't making sense in our family. So I got away from it. And then I got into another MLM. Great company. Really was. I enjoyed it. And the first one I made money, and this one I was making money. But what was happening then, that all of a sudden I started seeing videos were popping out. People were doing videos. I had no clue how to do a video. Right, I didn't have the equipment. We had we had flash phones. Um, oh, I can't think what those cameras were called. Those were so funny. Um, stick cameras or something. That's what I used right away. And they were okay. They just weren't very good. <laughs> if that makes sense. So my first mastermind was with a guy by the name of Mark Harbert. And I took a video mastermind. Dude's really good on uh, YouTube. And you know what he had us do every day? Make a 30 second video, right? And all I had was my flip phone and upload it to Facebook, right? And I know everybody says, well, I'm afraid of the camera. No, you're not afraid of the camera. You're afraid of what people are gonna think. But it was pretty easy. I just did it on my phone and I put it up and I never went back to see what anybody said. So that was my first run with a mastermind. And remember, I taught. So I always did these things in the summer or I'd sign up right before school would get started. Then I was in an attraction marketing company and they took on coaching. So I hired one, $3,000, okay? For, I believe it was three months of coaching. And I felt sorry for the dude because I signed up in August and school started and I was too busy to do anything. In their time, I was in network marketing. What they wanted me to do was get on and talk to people on Facebook. I didn't have any time to do that. So I felt really frustrated. I know he felt frustrated because it wasn't helping. That was Ryan Cody McMorrison. And he and I will be back together because he was really good. Um, and he's very good at what he does. Now, the third one, and I came back to Steve, it was a guy by the name of Steve Cribda. And it was... Um, Man, he taught me a lot about myself. You know, Steve is a great coach of asking questions and learning what's holding you back. What is, you know, what, why you aren't succeeding. So he's good at talking about, I don't want, you know, mine was fear. Uh, mine was not feeling good enough. Man, he uncovered some stuff that was just unbelievable. I put it out in other videos before. And then I got a coach because I thought, you know, I, I was raised Catholic. I mean, don't hold that against me. <laughs> or if you're Catholic, I shouldn't say that because I had a great run with it. I, at one time, I actually thought I was going to be a priest. And then I discovered girls are really pretty. So I started working with this guy, and, and I'm not going to mention his name. Um, it, and it was a little different because I was headed, Steve thought I should be headed into coaching. And I'm not saying that this guy discouraged me, but he didn't um, encourage me, if that makes sense. So I got away from coaching. Now, I've spent some money. If, if you're hearing this, I've spent a lot of money. Well, right now I am in two, three coaching programs. 
and I'm really excited. I'm back with Steve Kribda, getting certified as a coach, learning how to ask the right questions. I'm with a gentleman by the name of Jim Cox out of Australia. Uh, he's teaching me how to make a membership site to where I can offer to coaches coming in or course creators and they're learning all this thing with the training things. And then I'm with the queen of social media, Rachel Peterson. And I'm learning so much stuff. Now, I don't know if coaching's for you. I will tell you this. If you want to build a business, it is really hard to build on your own. There is a bunch of free stuff out there, right? There's a bunch of stuff on Google you can find. I just, I found it. I just didn't know how to put it all together. So some people might say that, you know, you're crazy having three coaches at once. But the number one thing I learned, do you know what a good coach does? Keeps you accountable. Meaning he's not like a sports coach or anything, but they're just always there. Helping, encouraging, telling you you can do it. Making you believe in yourself, giving you the right tools. I just did a three uh, video training for my membership area, my membership course, and, and I can give you, uh, there will be a link for that down below. All about being careful about revenue streams when you're bringing money in. It was so cool. And all I'm doing is following this Rachel Peterson. Now, she has more experience, but no, I've been in business a long time. I have experience. So she was talking about the pitfalls. I just brought my voice into it. It was so cool because I know I'm going to help a ton of people. Hey, if this is the first time here, you know, I'm Mark Nelson. I am a former school teacher, math teacher, algebra one, turned a lifestyle entrepreneur and now a business coach and a course creator. I help people build businesses. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. I put videos out once a week, sometimes twice. If you're following on my podcast, follow. Give me a review, please, because any review, any comments help build this thing out. Hey, you all take care. The number one thing, one is be positive. You can do this. But I would look at hiring a coach. If you would like a free brainstorming call, I'm going to have a couple links for re free resources down below. But if you would like a brainstorming call, go to marknelsononline.com forward slash call. And where you go to, there's a little, I think it's seven question questionnaire. And it's not, they're easy questions. I'm asking things about where do you want to go? Because that when we get on this call, we can have a chat. Figure out if I'm a fit or if I can help you, point you in the right direction, get you started where you want to go. So there you got it. MarkNelsonOnline.com forward slash call. Y'all take care.